I'm going to make a bold prediction. No matter where you live in the world, by the time you finish watching this video, you will absolutely, positively, undoubtedly, indisputably have the knowledge to successfully make concrete candle jars. How do I know? Because I got 11 different ways that you can do so. And one of those ways, probably more, will prove to be successful just for you. So leave your excuses at the door and let's go. Hi, my name is Jay Catalano. If I had a nickel for every time I heard a statement like this, I don't have any access to cementol. I'd be a thousand there. But you don't need cementol to be successful. You just need a mix and a formula to make concrete candle jars. Let me explain how this is going to go down. I'm going to briefly describe the product I'm using. Mix up the mixture using this silicone mold with a lid. And for your convenience, I will display some important information on my blackboard. And after demolding the concrete candle jar, I will give you my overall thoughts and move on to the next. Links to the products used in this video will be listed below. We're gonna do this in alphabetical order. Aqua resin. Aqua resin, an easy to use, non-toxic composite fabricating resin is a water-based material utilized in casting and molding, making it ideal for crafting concrete candle jars. Let's test it out. I'm going to take 325 grams of aqua resin powder and place it in my mixing bowl. Then I'm going to add in 100 grams of aqua resin liquid and stir that together thoroughly. Once satisfied, I'm going to add in some yellow color that came along with the aqua resin kit and stir that together until I get a smoothie-like consistency. After stirring it up to my liking, I will add the mixture to my silicone mold, lightly tap it, and wait to demold it. One hour and 30 minutes later, I'm ready to demold my yellow concrete candle jar using aqua resin. And this is my yellow aqua resin candle jar. It came out awesome. I love how the yellow color is so vibrant and it's definitely very lightweight. Notice how there are really no bubbles in the final product. And if you remember, we only lightly tapped it. Love it. Let's move on. Buonite. Buonite is a gypsum reinforced aqua resin system and is an eco-friendly composite material that offers the combined benefits of resin and gypsum. Let's test it out. I'm going to take 325 grams of the buonite powder and place it in my mixing bowl. Then I'm going to add in 100 grams of the buonite liquid and stir that together thoroughly. Afterwards, I'm going to add in some blue color that came along with the buonite kit, but not too much as I just want enough to make it a light blue concrete candle jar. After stirring it up to my satisfaction, I will add the mixture to my silicone mold, lightly tap it, and wait to demold it. 30 minutes later, I am ready to demold my light blue concrete candle jar using Boo on Nicole's Boo Night mixture. And here is my light blue Boo Night candle jar. This looks awesome. It's lightweight and boy, does the color really stand out. And the best part is that it only took 30 minutes to demold. 30 minutes. Just think about how many you can demold using a product like Booanite. Love it. Let's move on. Cementol. Cementol is a mortar mix that consists of CSA cement and silica sand. Its exceptional compressive strength makes it an ideal choice for crafting concrete candle jars, and it has become a staple product in the concrete candle jar making community. Let's test it out. I'm going to take 87 grams of water and add that to my mixing bowl. Then I'm going to add in 5% of red pigment and stir the water and the pigment up until the mixture is one solid red color. Afterward, I'm going to add in 345 grams of cementol and mix that together thoroughly until I get a smoothie-like consistency. Once I've thoroughly mixed it, I'll pour the mixture in my silicone mold, lightly tap it, and wait to demold it. Three hours later, and I'm ready to demold my red concrete candle jar. 
And here is my red cementol candle jar. Love, love, love the red. This is fantastic. Many people complain that they get a lot of bubbles using cementol, but look at how many bubbles there are. Not a lot. Why? Because you need to master your mix. I barely get any, and you will too over time. Cementol has never let me down. Let's move on. Echo Resin. Before getting into Echo Resin, let me share a little something with you first. If you're new to the world of creating concrete candle jars or you feel lost and just want to improve your skills, I've got something awesome for you. It's called the Winning Formula, a comprehensive course that covers everything you need to know from the basics of working with concrete to mastering your formula through the skillful use of color pigments this course has got you covered. It's not just about teaching you how to do something, but ensuring you understand it fully so you can confidently take action. The best part, you'll have direct access to me through my private community, which means you'll save valuable time, money, and avoid a boatload of headaches. I'm here to support you every step of the way. And in addition to all of that, inside the course, you'll discover an amazing collection of bonus resources that that you won't want to miss. None of this stuff is public on my YouTube channel. These extras will take your learning experience to a whole new level and help you become a pro at making concrete candle jars. Check out the link in the description for more details and start elevating your concrete candle jar making skills today. Let's go. Echo Resin is a composite material that is gypsum based. It is also echo friendly, durable, and heat resistant, which makes it perfect for making concrete candle jars. Let's test it out. I'm going to take 325 grams of the echo resin powder and place it in my mixing bowl. Then I'm going to add in 100 grams of water and stir that up thoroughly. Once complete, I'm going to add in 5% of blue pigment to ensure a deeper blue than before. Then I'm going to stir the mixture up until I get a smoothie-like consistency. After I've thoroughly mixed it, I'll pour the mixture into my silicone mold, lightly tap it, and wait to demold it. Two hours later, and I'm ready to demold my blue concrete candle jar. And here is my blue Echo Resin candle jar. This blue is exactly what I wanted and it looks fantastic. Demolding this candle jar was super easy and boy is it lightweight. A lot of the products we have been demolding thus far are somewhat similar in how they look and feel. And that's a good thing when you're looking for options. Love it. Let's move on. Hydrocal. Hydrocal is a type of gypsum cement used in mold making and casting applications due to its high strength and ability to capture fine details. Let's test it out. I'm gonna take 130 grams of water and add that to my mixing bowl. Then I'm going to add in a touch of black pigment and mix that thoroughly into the water. Then I'm going to sift in 325 grams of hydrocal and wait a few minutes until it reaches a dry bed lake effect. Once that happens, I'm going to stir that up until it creates a smoothie-like consistency. After I've thoroughly mixed it, I'll pour the mixture into the silicone mold, lightly tap it, and wait to demold it. 30 minutes later and I'm ready to demold my gray concrete candle jar made with hydrocal. And here is my gray hydrocal candle jar. Hydrocal is an awesome product as you can see by this beautiful gray candle jar, but there are some limitations. Hydrocal can experience calcination at high temperatures over 125 degrees. What is calcination? Calcination refers to the process of heating a material to a high temperature to cause chemical or physical changes. Anything over 125 degrees and calcination can start to occur. Now, if you subscribe to the theory that all candle jars should never exceed 140 degrees in temperature, then you only have 15 degrees to think about. And using a reliable sealant such as Earth Safe Finishes Hydro Dip can significantly enhance the protection of your jar in this context. 
if you don't think that 140 degrees is accurate, it is, and you believe a candle jar surface temperature can be higher, it can't, then you have more to worry about if you use HydroCal. In any regards, love how this turned out. Let's move on. Hydrostone. Hydrostone, like HydroCal, is a type of gypsum cement used in mold making and casting applications due to its high strength and durability. It is a stronger alternative to HydroCal and is being used more and more in the concrete candle jar making world. Let's test it out. I'm going to take 107 grams of water and add that to my mixing bowl. Then I'm going to sift in 325 grams of hydrostone and wait a few minutes until it reaches a dry bed lake effect. Being that I'm going to make a white candle jar, I do not need to add in any color additives. After achieving the dry bed lake effect, I'm going to stir my mixture up thoroughly until it reaches a smoothie-like consistency. Once complete, I'll pour the mixture into my silicone mold, lightly tap it, and wait to demold it. 30 minutes later, I'm ready to demold my white concrete candle jar made with hydrostone. And here is my white hydrostone candle jar. Hydrostone, a mixture I use quite often, is an awesome product as you can see by this beautiful white candle jar. But similar to HydroCal, calcination is a concern depending on how you manage your max surface temperature of your jars. My jars rarely go over 140 degrees by design and I use EarthSafe Finishes Sealer, which is a product that I can rely on to protect the candle jar. If you are a responsible candle jar maker, Hydrostone is a great option. Three things I love about Hydrostone, the quick demolding time, the relative strength, and the overall cured weight. Let's move on. Jay's formula. My formula consists of products that everyone all over the world should be able to get their hands on. It's cement, sand, plaster, and water. Now this formula has been successful for many people all over the world, but please, please, please keep in mind that not all cement, sand, plaster, and water are the same. And so sometimes this mix might not work. Hopefully this doesn't apply to you. Let's test it out. I'm going to take 180 grams of sand, 90 grams of cement, and 90 grams of plaster. Then I'm going to add in 5% orange pigment and mix that up thoroughly. Once I feel it has been mixed to my liking, I will add in just enough water to make it a workable consistency. Basically, it needs to be thick enough to get super strong and thin enough where I can pour it into my mold. After it's complete, I will add this to my silicone mold and dedicated lid using a vibrating machine to help the contents distribute throughout and wait until it's time to demold. After an hour, I will demold my orange concrete candle jar that was made using a formula I came up with for those who don't have access to products we have in the United States. And here is my orange concrete candle jar using my formula. People ask me all the time, does it work? The short answer is yes. The longer answer is you need to test out any product you make for yourself. This came out awesome, but let's briefly discuss a few things. One, like I said before, not all products are made the same. If you find that it hardens too quickly, remove half of the plaster and replace it with equal parts sand. Another thing you can add to your mixture to make it more manageable is a water reducer or plasticizer. What does a plasticizer do? A plasticizer enhances the workability and flow properties of the concrete by reducing water content and improving its cohesiveness without compromising its strength. It's possible you need to make adjustments to this formula, so stay flexible and test out your jars. Let's move on. Jesmonite. Jesmonite is a versatile water-based composite material used for casting and molding, combining acrylic resin with gypsum-based powders to create a durable and aesthetically appealing substance. Let's test it out. 
I'm going to take 325 grams of the jesmonite powder and place it in my mixing bowl. Then I'm going to add in 130 grams of the liquid component and stir that up thoroughly. Once complete, I'm going to add in a small amount of red pigment so that I can achieve a pink candle jar and not a red one. After I have thoroughly mixed it, I'll pour the mixture into my silicone mold, lightly tap it, and wait to demold it. An hour and a half later, and I'm ready to demold my pink concrete candle jar made with jesmonite. And here is my pink jesmonite candle jar. Take a look at how this pink candle jar came out. It's very smooth, lightweight, and the color is absolutely perfect. Love it. Let's move on. Mortar. Now, I don't care where you live in the world, you should be able to make mortar. Mortar is a concrete without the rocks, or better said, my formula without the plaster. Mortar is that stuff you see between bricks, and in case you didn't know, cemental is actually a mortar mix. How do you make mortar? Cement, sand, and water. Most countries, dare I say all countries, have cement, sand, and water. Let's test it out. I'm going to take 266 grams of sand and 133 grams of cement and thoroughly mix those together. To add some color, I'm going to add in some brick pigment and mix that in as well. Then I'm going to add just enough water to get a workable consistency. Once complete, I will add the mixture to my silicone mold. After it's in, we wait. 24 hours later and it's time to demold my brick color concrete candle jar. And here is my brick colored mortar candle jar. I love how this came out. It's not very smooth because of all the sand in the mixture, but the brick color adds to the raw look. Now, this is a mixture that I'm going to call the no excuses mixture, because no matter where you live in the world, you should be able to find cement, sand, and water. Let's move on. Quick Reap. Quick Reap Fast Setting Concrete is a rapid setting concrete mix designed for quick and efficient construction and repair projects. It's similar to other concrete mixes in some regards and different in others. Let's test it out. I'm going to take 400 grams of Quick Reap and add that to my mixing bowl. Then I'm going to add in a green pigment and stir that up thoroughly. Afterwards, I'm going to add just enough water to get a workable consistency. Once complete, I will add the mixture to my silicone mold and vibrate the mixture to ensure that the contents spread out evenly. 12 hours later, and it's time to demold my green color concrete candle jar made with quick reap. And here is my green concrete candle jar using Quikrete. So let's talk about Quikrete for a second. For those in the United States, Quikrete is not the way to go. It works, but it's not as easy and workable as Cementol. Most people already know that, but every so often you get a question asking about Quikrete. Quikrete for US, not so much. Nevertheless, this candle jar came out nice, but I would have loved a more vibrant green. Lastly, this mixture was thick and could have been easier to work with had I used the plasticizer. Something for you to keep in mind if your options are leading you towards quick read. Let's move on. Sacrete. Sacrete Fast Setting Cement is a quick drying and durable cement mix designed for rapid construction and repair projects. Let's test it out. I'm going to take 400 grams of sacrete and add that to my mixing bowl. And then I'm going to add in a black pigment and stir that up thoroughly. Afterwards, I'm going to add just enough water to get a workable consistency. Once complete, I'll add the mixture to my silicone mold and vibrate the mixture to ensure that the contents spread out evenly. Eight hours later and it's time to demold my black color concrete candle jar made with sacrete. And here is my black concrete candle jar using sacrete. Now, for people in the United States, sacrete, like quickrete, is not the way to go. It works, as you can see here, but it's not as easy and workable 
as cement all. Man, are we spoiled in the United States. Anyway, it came out really nice and I actually love the black color it achieved, but it would have been easier to work with due to its thickness had I used a plasticizer. And here are all 11 of my concrete candle jars. Each one of them made with a different mixture to hopefully give you ideas in which way to go. Now, some products are more accessible than others depending on where you live, but and this is a big but. The ingredients to my formula and the mortar mix formulas are two formulas that everyone all over the world should have access to. If you don't, you might need to find another creative outlet. And take a look at these videos that are popping up now. They're gonna help you on your concrete, hydrostone, and candle making journey. Until next time, thanks for watching. Ciao.